All right, so everyone's freaking out over Pencil this Pennsylvania Bill 22116. There's a change.org petition that says, hey, this is what's going on. Businesses, things are happening. Please support representative, blah, 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 right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over this bill and why I don't think it's that big of a deal. And then I'm going to go over why, to an extent, signing a petition is sort of pointless. So let's... let. If you do not read this bill, shut your mouth. I'm going to start it off right there. Don't tell me about social media posts. Don't. What we're talking about is proposed legislation in a governing body. So this, you need to be an adult here. What you need to look at is line nine. So this is what a squiggly mark 6129. Sale of certain toy guns and imitation firearms prohibited. Offense is further defined, line A, subsection A, offense defined. A person may not sell, transfer, or assign. This bill does not speak in any part on possession after the fact. All it's talking about is the sale or transference of a gun. That's it. If, the, if this bill passes, and I think it's going to get shot down, and I'll tell you why in a minute. If this bill gets passed... Airsoft is not done in the state of Pennsylvania. It's just harder to buy a gun. So you would just go out of state, buy a gun, and then come back in. Because there's nothing specific to importation. It is only about the sale. Read the bill. The sale, transference, or assignment of a toy gun. Assignment would be a um, rental. So rentals could get impacted. I'll tell you why I think that's not going to after this. This is not defining possession. If this bill covered possession, the ability to have a gun, then yeah, we would have a serious problem if I was in the state of Pennsylvania. I would like to remind everyone that Airsoft is still thriving in the state of California. If California is okay with it, you should probably shut your mouth. You ain't got to worry. When California goes downhill, that's when you need to worry. When I start ranting about what's going on in California, that's when you're going to be like, all right, all right we're going to need to make some phone calls and write some letters. It further goes into say, unless the toy gun or imitation firearm is, line 14, paragraph 1, a color other than black, blue, silver, or aluminum. So as long as you don't, in the state of Pennsylvania, as long as I sell red, pink, orange, brown, green, as long as I don't sell a gun that meets these, that is not black, blue, silver, or aluminum, that has those colors in it, I can sell airsoft guns. So if I buy like the, uh, uh, the G&G, what's that, pink M9 they make, or the G&G, any of the Femme Fatale stuff, like the full Femme Fatale, the one that's pink and white, not, not the one with the pink highlights that's base black, you can still buy the, you can still sell these guns or transfer them within the state of Pennsylvania as long as they're not one of these four colors. They also do not define if these are supposed to be primary colors or highlight colors. So let's say I have a black rifle with pink highlights. Okay, that might be illegal. What about a pink rifle with black highlights? It's not clearly defined in the proposed legislation. I will tell you I will tell you my theory on that in a second. But this is the bill that everyone's squawking about. But what pisses me off is that no one takes the time to read the bill. You all just want to look at Instagram posts and we all just want to be popular and repost things and show our support instead of studying what's actually going on. Get out of here with this. Line 15, section 2. Marked with non-removable orange stripe, blah, blah, blah. This is basically what they did in California. You got to buy it with a tape on it. Marked with non-removable orange stripe that is at least one inch width and runs the entire length of the barrel. Um, the non-removable, I'd be curious to see what their definition of non-removable is because I want to know what the definition of removable is. So to me, uh, is paint, are we considering that? Does it have to be an orange gun? So according to this, as long as I have it in, in all orange M4, I can still sell and transfer guns in the state of Pennsylvania. As long as all my rental guns are orange, I should be fine. 
That's what I'm seeing so far. Quip the bear, at least one inch diameter, blah, 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 blah. Here's the other interesting piece. The exception to that is if those guns are purchased while in the production of television programs or theatrical or motion picture presentations. But it does not define what a theatrical or motion picture presentation is. So my airsoft field just became a theater production for battle simulations. We create, we recreate fictional and realistic battles throughout time, throughout modern warfare, because it does not define what is and is not a theatrical or motion picture presentation. So if I film me playing with a GoPro, or if I film my friends with a GoPro, that's a motion picture presentation because it's not defined what that is. We're thinking of like a high budget quality Hollywood film, but it doesn't say that in here. If it's not in the bill, it's not in the bill. Do, do, this is how the law works, kids. Then it just goes into penalties. Uh, so let's look at definitions. Falling words, imitation firearm, nope. Toy gun, nope. And that's it. That's it. That's all they define. The reason I think that this bill is basically horse dung is it's election season around the country. So if I am an anti-gun politician, if that's one of my platforms, or if that's my party's platform, I need to create a bill that I can basically use as kindling for a fire. So I create this bill and I start, I don't actually talk about what the bill is, because clearly I don't have to talk about the bill, because this is why you kids are sharing it on Instagram, it's why you're talking about it. You didn't read the bill. Clearly, no one cares about what the actual bill says. So this is the plan. I create an anti-gun bill, and I rally my constituents, and I create all these campaigns that's, that, that furthers that I am a gun control supporter, that I want to keep kids safe, that I want to keep our streets safe, uh, that I want to I don't want kids to get shot with realistic firearms. I don't want kids to be around gun violence. I don't want kids to think gun violence is okay. I do all these things centered around this bill. That means nothing. This bill means nothing. All this is, in my opinion, is just some politician's way or a party's way of just lighting fire. Because it's election season. Did we forget that? Did we forget it's election season? Huh. It's, it's weird. That's so weird. Look what it says. Sale. That's it. Sale and transference. If they wanted to shut Airsoft down in the state of Pennsylvania, they would have added possession to this. Prove me I'm wrong. That's it. Here's why I think this... I understand a lot of people think this is a very important petition. Even though you have almost 15,000, it doesn't mean anything... Because if I give this to a politician, what, okay, cool, 15,000 people that don't vote in the state of Pennsylvania want me to change something. If you're an elected official, you only care about the people that will vote for you. You only care about your constituents. You only care about the people in your district, in your county, in your state. No one in, no elected official in the state of Pennsylvania cares if a bunch of kids in California signed a petition to get them to back off this bill. It means nothing to them. From a community standpoint, this is good because it says that, hey, we got 14,503 people are aware of the issues within the airsoft community. From a community standpoint, this is great. From a legal standpoint, this petition means nothing because there's no way to def clearly define who these people are. These are just names. Look, Nothing. I don't know who this... I'm sure this Robert person and this Sasha person, I'm sure they're lovely. I'm not saying anyone that signs this is a fool. I am saying that this petition will do nothing if it is handed to elected officials because how do I know if these people vote in the state of, in the state of Pennsylvania? Calm down, kids. This is not... This is what politicians do. This happens every year in the gun world. If you're not involved in the politics of the gun world, this is going to be real scary for you. But if you've seen gun politics come and go, you're like, this is just pandering. This isn't real. This isn't effective. This is just pandering for votes. And this will blow over just like all the other stupid bills that get proposed 
will blow over and we can all keep shooting kids in the face. Caber, who the f are you, nerd?